So you may or may not be familiar with my first experience with TikTok. I posted a video that got 6 million views and about half a million likes for about two minutes work. I'm going to link my YouTube video that covers all of that in an end card, so uh, make sure you catch up with that after this video. I owe it all to Prince Andrew being somewhat questionable and his heroic heckler. Cheers, Andy. Following my... Um success on TikTok, I decided to have a browse on this ridiculous platform and what can I say, it is quite the place to be. A video was recommended to me um, posted by an account called Molly Moon, which terrified every fibre of my being. You know, no big deal. <laughs> I ended up watching several of her TikToks and I don't think I'm the same person anymore. So this is something I just have to inflict upon all of you, I mean share with you lovely people. If anything, I just have to show you this before her account gets banned. You'll see what I mean. Let's get right into this one. Excuse me. Sir, you dropped your wallet. Pretty sure that's your purse, not a guy's wallet. Could be a phone case. Nah, it's Molly Moon's purse. Sort out props department. Oh, you think I'm a nice, trustworthy person? Thanks. The way she turns away whilst keeping the same facial expression is so unnerving. If you watch closely, her facial expression is just frozen. I think it's her eyes that weird me out. So she gives you your wallet back, thanks you for saying that she's a nice person, and you head home. Everything's fine, right? Hi. Jeez. I saw your address on your ID in your wallet, and I wanted to make sure you got home safe. So this is it. This is I'm gonna go out. That's the ending to this video. There's no payoff, no conclusion. With this POV, it just makes you feel that your days are numbered. I just don't get it. This video creeps the hell out of me, but at the same time, I just couldn't help myself. I just couldn't stop watching more of her videos. Excuse me, sir. Do you think you could give me a push down this slide? Did you just see that? Give me a push down this slide? She seems to have glitched out, or maybe she caught her ass on the wooden beam because she's like a six foot grown ass woman on a kid's slide. Do you think you could give me a push down this slide? Thanks. So it turns out that unless you shove her on her head, there's no way you'd be able to just give her a push like she asked. It's a tiny tube slide. Also, since when did we push people down slides. I always thought it was swings that we pushed people on. Pushing people down slides is borderline attempted murder, surely. Oh, you're weak. You hit your head and I brought you back to my place. Do you want to stay for a while? I'd kill to have a little company. There she goes again, glitching out. I'm not sure if this is intentional or not, but when she glitches out, it sounds like her bones click. Ugh, not leaving this house alive. One thing that I noticed after watching a few of her videos is that she doesn't seem to blink in any of them. You will not catch her blinking in any of these vids. It's sort of an impossible challenge. It's, it's, it's a task you'll never complete. Try it yourself. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Maybe that's the appeal. Maybe that's where all of her engagement is coming from. Maybe it's a game at this point. People are watching every single second of her videos just to try and catch a glimpse of her blinking. Here she is on another slide, but she travels about two inches until she reaches the bottom. Excuse me, sir? Phew -ee. what a ride. The ladder leading up to the slide probably has about four steps, and because of her perceived height, I bet she just has to step onto the top. Excuse me, sir? Do you think you could walk me home? I think there's someone bad out here. Yeah, you. I need to find someone to walk me home. I'm gonna die tonight. Thanks for walking back with me. What the hell is this stance? She doesn't look very thankful. She looks like she would have been happier if you just left her out in the woods to be murdered. You know, are you hungry? No. Do you want to stay for dinner? Uh, I'm allergic to dinner. And then breakfast? And then some more dinner. The cameraman doing exactly what's on your mind whilst watching this. Yep, just back out of the room. Just back out of the room. Excuse me, sir. Do you think you could help me find my phone? It seems to be missing. Thanks. Why'd you leave? Jesus Christ, why is she suddenly in my closet? I just wanted to get to know you better. Do you want to watch a movie? Again, usual drill. 
just back out of the room. Excuse me, sir. I saw you standing here and I thought maybe we could exchange numbers. Thanks. Don't know about you, but I know exactly what I'm doing in this scenario. Fake number. I mean, the video is called What Would You Do? Hmm, I wonder. But this is Molly Moon and we all know what she's going to do next. Yep, she's going to follow you home. Now, if you heard a knock at the door and then you saw this, then there's no way that you'd open it. But no, this is a Molly Moon video. Excuse me, sir. I'm so sorry. What a great book. Let me make it up to you. Why don't you come and have dinner at my place? That book is not a random prop. Look closer. You just know it. It's a taste of things to come. All right, it's terrifying, but at least it's better than an evening with Kathy Bates. God, I love you. I really hope you enjoyed that last meal. Yeah, it was absolutely deli- Hang on, what do you mean, last meal? Do you want some coffee? Yeah, I'd love some, but you're just gonna make us drink coffee in the dark there? Okay. Excuse me, sir, would you wanna hang out? Oh, you're busy. Okay. Well, maybe another time? Thanks. Ah, got rid of her, finally. Time to head home, sit down, and start relax. Thought you said you had plans. Jeez. I don't like liars. Well, I kind of didn't lie because the plan was to um, enjoy life without you around, Molly Moon. That's what someone says when they say they just have plans. No one has plans, they just don't want to spend any time with you. <laughs> Molly Moon's most recent videos add a new character into the mix. And quite frankly, I wish I'd never seen any of these. Excuse me, sir. My husband made this piece and he'd love to meet a fan. Do you want to come back to our place and have dinner? Just the three of us? Thanks. Sounds promising so far. It's not going to be just with her. It's dinner with her and her husband. Ah, uh, safety in numbers. Dinner will be ready shortly. We're just so happy to have guests. We don't get many. Right, honey? Hell's teeth. That final shot is sheer mindfuckery. Yeah, thanks, I hate it. There are some more videos featuring Molly Moon's new friend here that I'm not gonna show to you because they do just become more and more disturbing. In fact, even TikTok themselves, yes, TikTok, have put some uh, content warnings on some of the videos before you click on them. Turns out TikTok does have some standards after all. <laughs> now, Molly Moon's TikTok videos are one thing. Creepy as fuck videos, that's great. I noticed that her TikTok bio has some other links, such as a link to her Instagram, and the creepy shit just doesn't stop here. You go onto this Instagram link, and her Instagram bio has a backup account link also, which to me screams a lack of confidence in the future of her place on that platform. I think somehow she must know that Instagram probably isn't a place for this creepy stuff. Not much to see on her Insta. A handful of photos, most of which are the same themes as her TikTok videos, just as wholesome, just the same weird shit. Feels like there's some Belle Delphine vibes going on. Whether that's intentional or not, <laughs> tough to call. We also have a link to her Twitch. A status on Twitch has been quote unquote streaming soon for two years now. Ah, her Twitter account. Must be some premium content over there. Seems to be just more Belle Delphine style photo dumps. 25k loyal simps can't all be wrong there. Right, last link. Looks like we've cracked it. We should have seen it coming all along. Molly Moon's entire online persona seems to be all leading up to her OnlyFans. Seems weird that this Thanks. is meant as an advert for her paid pornographic content. Maybe it's some kind of niche market that I'm not familiar with. Maybe I just don't have any kinks going on with regards to creepy e-girls. I just don't fucking know. I will give it to Molly Moon. It's a bold strategy. I wish her all the best in, in her future endeavors, but um, I'm then not gonna venture any further. This is where I stop. This is about as far as I'm willing to go and about as far as YouTube will probably allow me to go. I've just been way too creeped out to continue, if I'm quite honest. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm really sorry if I've creeped you out. I just 
felt the need to share this with, with someone, with anyone. I really just felt like I had to share it with you a lot. I'd love to know what your uh, thoughts are down in the comments below. As I mentioned, make sure you catch up with the Prince Andrew TikTok situation that I had uh, a few weeks prior. So as before, I will not see you in the next video. You're going to see me. All I can see is a camera. And I promise it won't be so disturbing next time. Uh, maybe. See ya. Thanks.